So um, talk about what you did afterward and how you got involved in digital marketing. Sure, so um, my so after I left uh, the editorial world, I kind of became disillusioned with building uh, the news, as it were. Um, you know, it's the, you guys watch the 24-hour news cycle, there's always something on, it's always changing, and that sort of chaos um, was a part of my life. And I didn't really enjoy that and the, the fleeting nature of a day's work. You'd work, to build the, um, you'd work to build the show and then anything could change right before the show airs and then it was, then it was gone. Um, and, you know, I guess technically you're building a body of work, but it just felt like a lot of hustle, hustle, hustle then it goes away and you're not really building anything and I like the idea of, of building things and I was also getting very interested in, in business and marketing and um, I, I wanted to get out of the editorial world so I became a little bit disillusioned with that and went to work for a small client services firm in New York so that's that just means uh, we had a couple clients some were minor league sports teams others were local web companies this was in night this was uh, 2003 2000 early 2004 and um, you know, the, the web was young, as it still is technically on a geological scale, I guess, but it was really young then. Um, and, you know, we built websites and we did branding for, for these companies. And, uh, you know, that's where I really kind of cut my teeth on user interface, user experience stuff, uh, all the stuff that's very important to, to um, our work at, at DSC. Um, you know, I, I first de developed an understanding of what brands mean and, and why they're important and why they, uh, why the, uh, the best companies have really strong brands. Uh, and I sort of stayed, so I stayed at that company for, a, I guess, a, a year. And then I left with the partner of that firm to go to work for Time Inc., um, which publishes magazines that you've all heard of, Sports Illustrated, uh, you know, Time Magazine, People Magazine, et cetera. And I worked for... Uh, I worked for a couple different web properties there, uh, most notably, and um, was SportsIllustrated.com. And SportsIllustrated.com, you know, Sports Illustrated, they make their money selling ads, uh, both in the magazine and online. And um, you know, an advertiser like Nike would come to us and they would say, "We want to pay a million dollars for uh, to reach your audience. What else can you do besides sell us space in your magazine and on your website?" And we would say. Um, well, we can build you custom content, both on the web and in print. And that custom content could have been anything. It could have been a game. It could have been a Q&A uh, interactive website with Peyton Manning or something like that. And, uh, you know, we built that stuff. And that's where I really started developing um, an understanding of how to work with programmers, speaking the language that they speak, which I don't know if there's any computer science students in the room, uh, but it's probably tough to talk to your friends sometimes about what you do because, uh, it's a very esoteric language, and um, it's very different from what we all talk about uh, throughout the course of a normal business day. Um, so that's where I really started understanding the programmer's language, um, not coding, because I can't code anything. Um, but uh, that's where I understood a design, you know, web design, UI, UX, working with programmers, designers, to build content that resonated with, with uh, an audience. And I did that for about five years before getting into the video seating space, which is... Uh, fancy talk for driving views to branded social videos. So we would, and this was the early days of that, which was three years ago. It's funny to talk about the early days of anything, um, being how young we all are. Uh, but but it was true in 2009, 10, when I moved to California from New York. Um, no one was really. I mean, some people were talking about uh, branded social videos. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Elf Yourself, but that was one of the first big ones. Um, the subservient chicken was a, more of a site than a video, but uh, this, these were the early days of that, and I, I was um, helping companies like Taco Bell, Ford, uh, Gillette, ironically, work on their uh, branded social videos um, and, and get them seen, um, you know, which is very hard to do. You, 24 hours of, of video gets uploaded to YouTube every minute or some, something. That's not it, but it's something ridiculously huge like that. Um, so these companies were all freaked out trying to get uh, their needle in the haystack discovered, and we helped them do that, both, um, both on helping them edit their videos in, in, the, in the right way and, and write the scripts in the right way and then ultimately publicize them. So that's, you know... I don't know how you would slap a label on me. Um, I guess you would call, call it media marketing, uh, digital media, brand development. Um, you know, I tried to start a social network for travelers in 2006. Uh, and the whole time in New York, I was always studying improv and sketch comedy, uh, which I love. Um, so that's, 
That's me.